it was time to get rid of my Christmas tree. Because it was still growing, I put a question out there to my subscribers of what I should do with the tree. Well, Vivian, one of my subscribers, suggested that I put it outside for the birds and let them nest in it and have their time in it. Well, I did put it out in my garden and I ended up making a couple different homemade bird feeders for them too. I wanted to wait until I saw how they worked and if the birds were really going to them before showing you this video. Well, here you go. Okay, I'm gonna make another kind of winter bird feeder. I have this bag of cuties, little clementines, that got tucked into the back of the refrigerator and a lot of these are going bad. So I'm going to use these. So you want to take any stickers off because you don't want the birds ingesting that. I'm just going to cut it in half so the navels are on the ends. So I'm going to take a grapefruit spoon and just scoop the flesh out of here. Try not to damage the shell. And you're left with a nice little cup like this. I'm going to put these in this little mini muffin pan until I have them all done. Okay, I have one dozen little cups. Now I need to put holes in the sides and put a string through so we can hang it. And right now I'm just going to use the Phillips screwdriver and just poke a hole in each side. Okay, I have just a regular store brand jar of peanut butter. You don't want to use your best peanut butter. Also, I don't eat peanut butter, so I can use all this and it doesn't bother me one bit. Let the birds have it. Okay, to this peanut butter, I'm gonna add some bird seed and stir it around until it's mixed really well. Take string and push it through the holes. You cut your string about 12 inches long should do. And then just tie a knot at the top. Okay, I have the strings all in through the side holes and I have them kind of resting on the bottom. And we're going to fill it with the peanut butter mixture. Okay, these little cutie shells are all filled. So they're gonna go into the refrigerator to harden up. I've secured the tree to the corner post so it won't fall over in high winds. And now I'm gonna start hanging my little homemade bird feeders. Well, when the birds had all that bacon fat, they really didn't wanna go for the peanut butter. So I was worried that it wasn't gonna work. I'm gonna take the extra mixture I have and add some bacon fat to it. So this is peanut butter and some seeds. So what I'm gonna do is add bacon fat to this and then more seeds and mix it up. Okay, I'm making kind of a ring out of this. I'm gonna put it in this bowl with my jar inside so it's like a little bunt ring. Um, but first I'm going to spray the bowl so this can release easily. And now I'm gonna spoon this in here. <laughs> Making a mess. this in the freezer for a few hours. Well here is my peanut butter seed ring with a little bit of bacon fat in there. It's been in the freezer. Put a little bit of warm water inside this jar to help release it. Now that came out just wonderfully, just perfect. I have a bowl of warm water that I'm just going to set this in just for a little bit. 
These are Pyrex dishes, so they should be able to withstand this um, difference in temperature, but you don't want to make it too hot because you don't want to crack them. Because this is peanut butter and fat, you don't want it to get too warm because it is going to be sticky. Yep, I feel it releasing there. Okay, there we go. We've got our peanut butter suet ring. Okay, this next part's going to be a little bit messy. I've pre-cut my string so I don't have to worry about handling scissors. So I'm going to start weaving it around so it remains sturdy and steady for the birds to eat on. I'm going to tie a knot at the top here to help secure it to the tree. There we go. I'm going to go out and put that on the tree and see how the birds like it. And you know what? It's a success! Not only did they go for this, but they started to eat the peanut butter filling in the orange cups. And the birds have been happy in this long, cold, hard winter because they don't have any feed around. So they've really enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this video too and maybe you can still have enough winter left where you can do this otherwise think about it for next year it's a great project for your kids i really enjoyed watching the birds come and feed right outside my window so you guys take care god bless and have hope winter's almost done